Barb, in the previous conversation, we talked about the importance of LinkedIn. The recruiters will go to LinkedIn to see who this person is, uh, their accomplishment, their personal brand. And I also tell the students or the clients I'm uh, teaching or helping that LinkedIn should be your banner, your headliner, mm -hmm. your about section, your experience, your recommendation should be very on top and you're showing or your accomplishment and not just telling them. So mm -hmm. as an expert yourself on LinkedIn and also as an instructor, so what tips do you have for job seekers in terms of optimizing their LinkedIn profile? Right, well, a couple of things, your banner, you know, you don't just want to have a plain banner. It's very easy to change the banner now. They made that, you know, they on made Canva. it very easy for you to yeah. do. Um, also, your picture should be a professional headshot. Mm -hmm. It should not be you playing baseball. It should not be you out with your friends. It should be a professional headshot, you know, because individuals want to see that you are professional. You've got to remember LinkedIn is the largest social network where yeah. recruiters go and hiring authorities go. Yes. And so you've got, when you're looking at your LinkedIn profile, you've got to pretend you're a hiring authority and you're looking at this. Once you look at your LinkedIn profile, does your LinkedIn profile want to make me pick up the phone and call you or reach out to you in an email and have a conversation with you, mm -hmm. you know, and so, and you want to fill out your entire LinkedIn profile. You do want to put what organizations you belong to. You do want to put your interests, any yeah. awards, you know, there's different, get deep into your LinkedIn profile. Yeah. Don't just do the surface things, but again, recruiters who are salespeople, recruiters have a tendency of just looking at your name. They'll look at your title they might look a little bit at the information there, but then they go directly to your recommendations. Mm -hmm. And so recommendations have a tremendous impact on whether people reach out to you or not. They also look at what groups you belong in. And recruiters live in the LinkedIn groups. Like if I'm recruiting HR people, I'm going to join all the HR groups and I'm going to get them to know me, you know, and I'm going to go through the who's in the group if I want to hire an HR person and yeah. I'm going to look for people that are active in the group, like they're posting an article or mm -hmm. they're, they're doing something. You can't just always say, I need a job, hire me. Yeah. You want to, you want to share your knowledge. You yes. know, you want to give, you've got to give on LinkedIn before you get back, yeah. you know, and you've got to follow as many people that are following you. So it's the person with the most followers is not the person that wins. In fact, if, if any of you want to connect with me, I, I accept most of my connections unless somebody tries to sell me when yeah. they're asking me to connect, then I don't, yeah. but I will accept your connection. And if you just watch what I do, I do two posts a week. I share them to my groups. You can see the groups I belong to. And a lot of the articles I post on your groups, I don't care if you use my articles, um, but if you watch how I work LinkedIn, mm -hmm. it'll teach you how to work it, you know, um, but you want it to be a mini sales letter. You want it to make you stand out um, and not, not look like a resume or CV, but the yeah. recommendations and please make sure they're recommending you for the skill sets that you're the most proud of the yeah. skill sets that are the most marketable, the skill sets that will make you most valuable where you'll get a higher job offer. If people are recommending you for certain skill sets that are needed. Yeah. And in terms of content creation, so I tell uh, people I'm helping start small, identify maybe 10 companies you want to work follow them, comment on their posts, share. Yes. And when you are sharing, write something, you know, not just great article, like be thoughtful, two, three lines. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. maybe share articles or summarize article, tag people, hashtag. Is there anything else they can do if they're, they're, they're starting new and they don't know what to do? Right. I think, I think Google alerts are, are really, really the key because mm -hmm. if you set up a Google alert and if you don't know how to do that, go to Google and just find out how to set up yeah. an alert. And then everything that appears online, you get that information. Like you get who's promoted, you get what the company is doing. So when you comment on that, then you're going to share it. They start realizing, you know, and, and you like, I agree with you. You don't just want to say nice job, nice promotion. Yeah. You want to say something more thorough about it. You want to share it. You want to follow these companies. But the Google alerts will keep you informed now. You don't want your email inbox filled with Google alerts. Yes. And if you're following huge companies, you could get 100 Google alerts in a week. Mm -hmm. So the minute the first Google alert comes in, right click and then make a folder in your email provider with each company name on it. Yeah. That way you could follow 30, 40 companies very easily because yeah. it's all automatic. Then yeah. when you go to reach out to the company, you just go to the folder, see what the last thing they said was. You know, and even if somebody got promoted and if say an IT person got promoted to the director of IT and you're a .NET developer, 
you could very easily say, you know, congratulations on the promotion when I looked at your background and I've really researched your company and learned, you know, I would love, I would love to affiliate myself with you. What steps do I need to take? Yeah. You know, and you're complimenting them and still marketing yourself. Yeah. So the more informed you are, the more you're going to differentiate from every other job seeker out there that is not doing this. They're just on job boards all day long getting mm -hmm. rejected. Yeah, those are great tips, Barb. I really appreciate it. And I hope the audience watching or listening will implement some of the tips we're talking. So tune in tomorrow, guys, for another great question with Barb.